Take addiction, for example. There are more kids in addiction clinics for marijuana than any other substance. This must mean that marijuana is the most addictive substance today. It's undoubtedly true that there are more uh, teenagers and kids in treatment for marijuana than all the other drugs combined. What the DEA never tells you is why that's true. A kid is caught possessing or smoking marijuana. He's taken to court. He's given a choice. Either you, you know, some horrible penalty, or you go to a treatment center. Obviously chooses to go to treatment, and goes to treatment there, he's considered an addict. But then the DEA gets the point to that stat and say, look at all these kids in treatment for marijuana. God, it must be because today's marijuana is not the marijuana that your parents were smoking. As far as I understand, only 3% of the people in treatment for marijuana are there voluntarily. The other 97% were told to by their guardian or told to by a judge. So you can choose between jail or treatment. And a lot of people choose treatment. It provides no basis for speaking about addiction. Anybody who is at all sophisticated about marijuana would rate them the way two researchers were asked to rate drugs in order of addiction. Nicotine was one, alcohol was two, then heroin, then cocaine, then coffee, and then marijuana. There may have been a couple of other drugs, but marijuana was at the very bottom, uh, below coffee. This narcotic, unlike the opiates, the synthetics, and cocaine, is non-addictive. What do you mean by non-addictive? By non-addictive, it is meant that the user of marijuana, when deprived of the drug, will not experience the agonies of withdrawal. It is habituating, but its use can be discontinued.